The desert is the hottest biome on Earth. It can be over 100 degrees Fahrenheit during the day, but below 32 at night. Deserts receive limited rain, and animals must adapt in order to receive the water they need. The fennec fox's large ears help dissipate excess body heat. It can survive without free water because their kidneys are adapted to restrict water loss. They receive moisture from the food they eat. Their sandy coloration helps to reflect the heat. It has thick fur on its soles which insulates against the hot sun and sand of the desert. The leopard gecko is strictly nocturnal, peeping out of the heat of the day. The leopard gecko's eyelids protect their eyes against the blowing sand of the desert. Leopard geckos conserve water by excreting nitrogenous waste in the form of solid uric acid as opposed to urine. Extra thick skin helps to prevent drying out in the desert. The dromedary camel is capable of drinking 30 gallons of water in just 10 minutes. Camels store fat in their hump, not water. A healthy camel's body temperature fluctuates through the day from 93 to 107 degrees Fahrenheit. This allows the camel to conserve water. Camels have nostrils that can open and close, protecting the respiratory tract from the blowing wind. The Addux antelope coat color changes from dark grayish brown in winter to absorb the warm sunlight, to white in the summer to reflect sunlight. These are often located in the shade of boulders for protection from the wind and sun. Addux rarely need to drink since they are able to get most of the water they need from the plants they eat. Meerkats have a specialized coat that keeps them warm when it's cool and cool when it's warm. Dark rings around their eyes help reduce glare from the sun. A nictating membrane on their eye acts like a windshield wiper to remove sand from their eyes. Their underground burrows serve for protection against predators and the sun. Gila monsters spend as much as 98% of their life underground in burrows to avoid heat exposure. Thick skin prevents water loss to extreme desert temperatures. The Gila monster's toxic venom is used against desert predators. Additionally, its pink or orange coloration also protects it against predators. The oryx only sweats when its body temperature reaches 113 degrees Fahrenheit, because sweating means losing water. By letting its body heat up before it sweats, the oryx keeps from getting dehydrated. It can stand such high body temperatures because small veins in the moist interior of its nose cool off blood headed to its brain. The African elephant flaps its huge ears to keep its whole body cool. The elephant's ears are packed with tiny blood vessels just below the surface of the skin. The moving air cools down blood passing through the ears. Its cooler blood then circulates through the rest of the animal's body. Ear flapping can lower an elephant's blood temperature by almost 10 degrees. The hippo spends the day in the water and makes its own sunscreen. The hippopotamus secretes a thick, red substance from its pores called blood sweat. This layer of mucus, which is neither blood nor sweat, protects the animal's skin from sunburns and keeps it moist. The hippo can't really swim, but it cools off by walking along the bottoms of lakes and rivers. Grazing for food happens at night when the air temperature is cooler. These amazing desert animals have adapted to their environment.